What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Wi-Fi battle. Both. We are against Matt, who's bringing a really cool team. A lot of weaknesses to rock, including the... Oh, I, my apologies. A lot of weaknesses to ground, technically speaking, because Rotom is also weak to ground. Uh, a couple weaknesses to fighting. This seems pretty balanced, but... We are against Matt. He's bringing a really cool team. I got a feeling he's going to start with the Lando because a lot of people start with the Lando and it's mostly a defensive Lando. And we're going to go out into Basculin and just mess up the Lando. So you already know, hashtag bars, that we're starting with Basculin. If this thing is a scarfed... Um... Oh, I forgot about this song. That's a pretty chill song. I thought it was going to be intimidating given that we're using a Tyrantrum and we're using a Regieleki. Make sure you guys check out the last Wi-Fi battle because Tyrantrum, that's all I'm going to say. Tyrantrum. Dragapult actually comes out. Very interesting to me. I don't know what to do. Do I need... I need throw. I kind of do. Whew. This caught me off guard. Highly off guard. I think we're just going to... Uh, but at the same time, I need you for Lando. Okay, we're switching out. We have to switch out. Um, what are you what, what are you going for? I'm going to Skarmory. I'm going to go into Skarmory. This lead threw me off guard. A lot of people start with Landorus. And um, this guy didn't. And it kind of just like... Whoop! Dragon darts. Okay, so I made the good switch. This is the good switch. Boom. Resisted. Boom. Resisted. There you go. There you go. Um, Heat Rotom might come out, and if it does, that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with the Stealth Rock. That's it. Oh, U-turn. That's fine, too. You're gonna get hit with Rocky Helmet damage. And it does nothing. Nada. Anything at all. Okay. I I'll take that damage against the, uh, Dragapult. 100%, because it's gonna take some more damage coming in, uh, this next turn. I really wish I had Roost on this Garmory. It would be so helpful right now. Okay, Rotom does come out. Rotom the Brotom, and I'm going to predict there's a Bolt Switch, and because of that, maybe a Defog is a thing also, but I'm going to go... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go out into the boy. Throw! I'm going to go ahead and hit this thing with a Circle Throw to phase things out a little bit. I'm really not trying to stay in against this uh, Electric Fire type Pokemon, which I'm weak times two for each type, so it's, it only makes sense for us to switch out. Thunderbolt does come out. That's okay. I should be able to take that. I wish I was Assault Vest, but I'm not. Okay, Leftovers comes out. If you want to hit me with the Bolt Switch, then I'm going to make you pay with the Circle Throw. Here we go. Circle Throw, we should be able to just... Unless it's Dragapult, of course. Um, we should be able to hit almost anything on this team pretty well. Okay, Overheat comes out. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this one. Okay, we take that. We're eating those for days. And uh, every the crowd is bored. They sound... <gasps> Do we predict? I think we predict. Ice Punch. He saw the he, he saw the circle throw. He's gonna say, you know what? I'm bolt switching going into my boy Dragapult, and I'm just gonna take your circle your circle throw. But you know what? I got something better than circle throw. I got ice punch on this throw for that very reason. I prepared for the Dragapult. Not maybe not all the way, but I prepared for the Dragapult. Please go, Dragapult. Nigelio comes out. That's unexpected. That one threw me off guard a little bit. Ice punch freeze. I got someone who burned me earlier, so it's not freezing. So now he knows I'm prepared for the Dragon Pole, which is good. That is very good. I'm going to circle throw this thing out of here. I, um, Dazzling Gleam. I was not expecting that. I've never gone against a Negilio, so I, I, I really don't know what these things do. Okay. Boom. And you should, you should go down upon switching. I'm okay with that. Oh, Lando comes out. That's unfortunate. I didn't want Landorus to come out. Maybe a U-turn comes out. And if U-turn does happen... I can't. I don't think I'm taking an Earthquake from him. Maybe he's afraid of the Ice Punch, though. I'm gonna rest. We rest. Nigelio comes down, uh, goes down upon Switch. Earthquake. Oh, he does go Earthquake. He doesn't fear my Ice Punch. We're living this. 
We live in this. We live in this. We live in this. We live in, live in, live in this. Okay. We're resting up here. We're resting it up. Um, maybe I take another attack from this thing. I'm not sure. Um, what do you want to go into? Really nothing. Really nothing. Maybe I stay in? Uh, probably not. We're going to Skarmory here. We're going to Skarmory. That's the best option against the Landorus. You know what? I, really, I wasn't expecting Throw to come in clutch like that against this Landorus' Earthquake. Earthquake again. That's fine. That's fine. Spikes is a thing. Spikes is a big thing. First and foremost. Rock Tomb. That's fine. That's a good play. That's a very good play. I'm already slow, so I really don't care what you do to me, Lando. I'm just going to set up my spikes. Maybe a second layer of spikes, so I make sure that Nigelio does not come back in. Okay, that's what we're going to do. This guy's probably going to rage quit, and I understand. I understand if you do, seriously. Rock Tomb is not going to do anything to me, though. Like, come on. Come on. Okay. Um, he's probably going Rock Tomb in case I switch, but at this point... The Stealth Rock and the Spikes are going to do a lot of damage to his team. 100%. 100%. Um, I think I do a Wing Beat. Maybe he has something in store for me. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just going to rest. Yeah. It's better to keep our Pokemon healthy, in my opinion. There you go. And then we're just going to go ahead and wait it out for these two turns for rest. This is why I wish I had Roost. Like, seriously. Seriously, seriously. It's a good thing I'm running Roost instead of... Uh, or rest instead of Roost. Because if I go Roost and he goes Earthquake, then I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm highly in trouble. He was probably waiting for that opportunity. And then I reveal he, uh, that I have rest and not Roost. And he's like, you know what? I got to do something. Self Rock. Oh, we, we're trading rocks. I don't got a rapid spinner, unfortunately. But. So he revealed to me that he has the stealth rock, rock tomb, earthquake, and probably U turn. Is my bet, is my guess. Rock tomb again. You know what? I should probably weaken this thing with um, dual wing beat as much as I can because that's not doing anything to us. Dual wing beat it is. We're going to wake up this turn. Rock Tomb again. That's fine. That's fine. I Imagine the Skarmory knocking this thing out. That would be amazing, in my opinion. All right, Dual Wing Beat. Boom. I'll take those damage. Oh, Rocky Helmet is a thing. Um, We're resting again. <laughs> no way we're going to allow this thing to, to outstall us with the Rock Tomb. Or our, not the Rock Tomb, the, the Rocky Helmet. Okay. So given that he keeps going and going and going and going into the Rock Tomb, what's the next option for us? What's our next Pokemon that we go into? Um, let's press the plus button. We really don't have anything. And that upsets me. I really wish I was running Aqua Jet on the Basculin, but I'm not. I am not. Um, okay, U-turn is fine with me. But now you're taking some damage. You're probably going to go into the Rotom. And if you go into Rotom, what do I do? I think I go back to throw. I think we go back into throw. Unfortunately, both of our Pokemon are asleep. Meaning the Skarmory and the, um, the my uh, throw. Oh, I love that damage. I love that damage a lot. Um, should we predict U-turn? I think we kind of do. Or Volt Switch, I mean. We kind of do. Tyrantrum is a perfect switch. But, if I go Tyrantrum, his answer to Tyrantrum is going to be... Landorus. Gonna be the Landorus. And I don't think I knock out... Yeah. I don't think we're up for a Tyrantrum sweep quite yet. But, I think we go... Oh, no, 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 no. No. I think we go throw... And then we just let this thing bolt switch out of here or we let it overheat, whatever it wants to do. We'll burn a turn of sleeve with the throw. And then you go overheat. Okay, I'm cool with that. 100% I'm cool with that. And then 
I really don't want him to come into Landorus and then just beat us up. I would really hate that. I think I'm going to Ice Punch here. We Ice Punch, no matter what. We probably won't wake up. If I recall, we won't wake up this turn. Look at Throw, just taking a beautiful nap. Beautiful nap. That does nothing. Throw is still asleep. And um, we are going to... That's leftovers damage right there. We recover that up easily. Overheat was your best option. Um, actually, no. Thunderbolt probably was. We're going to circle throw anything out of here. Doesn't matter if it's the Dragapult. Doesn't matter. Shadow Ball. We're tanking that, my friend. We're tanking that also. Don't get the special D drop. Oh, throw stays asleep. That's fine. That's okay. Hey, throw. Whenever you want to wake up now, that's fine, okay? I'm good talk. All right, we circle throw. Hopefully, Nigelio comes out. No, actually, anything other than Nigelio because it puts some pressure on his team. Okay, Bolt switch out of here. That's perfectly fine. You get out of here. Anything but Dragapult, please. Anything but the Dragapult. Anything but the Dragapult. Um. Yeah, because if he goes Dragapult, I'm threatened. Ah, oh, it's the Dragapult. That's not cool. I know I should have ice punched. I had a feeling. I had a really good feeling. I wake up, I go circle throw. It doesn't affect them. I would really hate to take. Let's see, the thing is that Landorus probably isn't fully invested. We go Gardevoir here. Because if you want to hit us with some Dragon Darts, I am actually scarred for this very reason. For, for these pesky Dragapults. Because Dragapult is everywhere. It's in every single team. Okay. Don't hit me. Phantom Force. Yikes. Okay. So now we switch out of here. He read me like a book. I'm going to go into Skarmory because that'll be some Rocky Helmet damage, right? And then he really can't do anything else to me. All right. Go into Skarmory. Go into Skarmory. I take some self rock damage, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll rapid spin the rocks out here shortly. Yes. Okay. What's your other move? Psychic Fangs, maybe? I think it's Psychic Fangs, right? I'm going to do a Wing Beat again. Because Dragapult, upon coming in, is going to get knocked out by the, by the spikes. He really can't do much. He really cannot do much. Okay. I don't think I wake up this turn, either. If I recall. Yeah, I'm not waking up. No way, Jose. Um, do we predict another Dragon Darts? I'm gonna rest again his best bet into knocking this out is gonna be the dragon darts he's pressured to stay in and if he does i'm gonna go into gardevoir after this uh rest again after this rest he cannot break through my core which is awesome boom nothing 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 dragapults are worthless to him now dragapult is really worthless to him okay so now I'm putting pressure on this team because of the self rock and the spikes are accumulating. That's why I love these hazards. I love these hazards so much. Please don't quit because this battle is kind of long. All right, Tyranitar comes out. I'm cool with that, believe it or not. Very, very cool with that. Hurt by the spikes, Sandstream happens. That's cool with me, my boy. That is very cool with me. I'm going to wake up, go for another rest. And then... What do you have for me, Tyranitar? A Fire Punch. Fire Punch is a thing on Tyranitar. So, because of that, Fire Punch, Tyranitar. Maybe he Dynamaxes. If he Dynamaxes, it's over. Um, Fire Punch, Tyranitar. What do you got for me? I'm going to go Basculin, I think. Maybe Tyrantrum. No, I'm going to go Basculin. I'm going to try to knock this thing out with a Watcherfall. That's what we're going to try to do here. Go Basculin. Come on, Basculin. You're very frail, but you hit like a truck. Okay, what are you going to do? Fire Punch? You're Dynamaxing. I knew it. We're in trouble. We're highly in trouble. So Gardevoir is a, a pretty good option. Except for the fact that the Sandstorm is up. Oh, no. And it's probably Weakness Policy. If it's Weakness Policy Tyranitar, we're in trouble. We don't have speed, unfortunately. Hailstorm is ha happening. We resist the Ice-type attack, so I'm cool with that. And it, get, it gets rid of your Sandstream. I'm cool with it. 100%. 100% I'm cool with it. Buffed by the hell. You are too, though. And that might matter on this knockout. This, this knockout coming up, it might matter. Um, 
now leftovers okay so that tells us it's not weakness policy so i'm not afraid to go for a waterfall waterfall is take technically times four because we're adaptability you're gonna get knocked out by this you're gonna get blown back you have to yes my boys basculin and he wastes his dynamax like that is the food here i think the food's here yes okay i'm gonna finish this wi-fi battle and i gotta eat some dinner and we gotta get ready for a really exciting weekend really excited weekend okay Cartana happens. Cartana comes out, which is a little scary. Don't get me wrong. Um, but what do I got for the Cartana? I think I got. I don't got any fire type Pokemon. I got a Focus Blast for it. I got a Super Power for it. I got a Nice Punch for it and a Circle Throw. We go Skarmory. We gotta go Skarmory here. We won this battle. I already feel it. As long as I make the right plays, we go. We're gonna win this. Okay, go for a leaf, uh, leaf blade. I don't care what you go for. There you go. There you go. If he rage quits, that's going to be the end of the video. Unfortunately, I really hope it doesn't end like this. But it might. It might. Buffed by the hail. That's cool. Artana. You're done. You're done. I'm going to dual wing B here. I'm playing, I'm playing stall against him. And I have to play stall against him, unfortunately. I really don't want to, but I got to. If that makes sense. Basculin's gonna be my wing con against the the um, well Basculin's gonna be my answer to the Landorus is, is, is actually what I'm trying to say Hartana cannot do anything to us anymore. I think Skarmory has done his job though Yeah Skarmory's done his job. So we're gonna let it go down Leaf played me again. That's fine After a dual wing beat this uh, Kartana should go down Wake up Skarm. Oh, you're, you're staying asleep. Is it two to three turns that they stayed asleep? I think so I think so. This Cartana has no choice. I think it's banded. I think it's banded. It has to be. Given that it, it keeps going for the Leaf Blade and it's doing some pretty good damage to us. I know it's a it's I know it's an ultra beast, but come on. You're knocking yourself out. There you go. Cartana gets knocked out. My opponent's probably getting annoyed by the by the stall, and rightfully so. I mean, when do you see a Basculin get rid of a Tyranitar? Almost never, right? When do you see a Basculin get rid of a Landorus, which we're about to see here in a little bit? Rotom, if you want to come in here, you definitely can, my friend. I'm going to do a wing beat. You can knock my... You can take my Skarmory. I don't care. This battle's a little closer than I think, actually. Well, no, because Dragapult's going to come back, come down against... Um, upon the switch. Um, Landorus is a thing, yes, but I got throw as an answer for it. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go throw here. We're going to circle throw... Uh, circle throw get it get it okay yeah we're gonna go ahead and circle throw everything and uh the battle's over three minutes left i think uh because Na negalio goes down also upon switch and then he also has who's his last pokemon so he has the rotom landorus negalio and dragapult it's game it has to be game we're taking this like champs if i get paralyzed okay i don't i miss again unfortunately <laughs> Come on! Stop missing your attacks! Like, seriously. Okay, circle throw again. We have to. We have to. I think Assault Best Garapalock with full defense and full special defense would be pretty good also as a phaser like this. Circle throw again. We actually hit this time, which is nice. Rotom's gonna go down upon switch, and it's game. Please, Night Nigalio. Dragapult, you're going down. Dragon Bolt's going down. Boom. Spikes coming in clutch. Two minutes until the battle ends. I think this is a W. This battle took a while, but it's a pretty good battle. It's a pretty good battle, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. We got the W, boys. It's all bit. I, I, I can't. Stop. Stop trying. <laughs> I thought I was feeling something in here, but I'm not. I'm a producer, not not a rapper. Okay, Landorus comes out, which is fine. You can Landorus all you want. Intimidate. Gardevoir should be able to come in and knock this thing out. Yup. Ice Punch. Ice Punch! Hit me with an Earthquake, that's fine. Throw did some work. Throw did some pretty good work. Okay. We go into Gardevoir, we hit the Psychic type attack, or the, no, the Fairy type attack, the Moonblast, and it's game. It's game. 
We won this. There you go. Moonblast. It's done. 60 seconds till the battle ends. All he has to do is switch into his two Pokemon and his game. Moonblast. Boom. You get knocked out. There you go. It's game! Because Rotom's gonna go down after the Stealth Rock. And the Nigali, the Nigalio goes down to the spikes and the stealth rock also that's game very well thought out battle from my side of things that's cool nigga leo comes out you get knocked out boom boom and then the drag or dragapult already went down the rotom the brotom comes down because it comes in and that's gonna get knocked out also so he's probably just gonna let the timer run out oh <laughs> this 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 kind of victory feels so good just let your opponent switch into everything and everything goes down. He's probably not gonna let his Rotom go down. Understandably. Uh, understandably so. And that's game. That is game. You gotta switch into something. And then Rot- Come on! <laughs> I know I'm kind of mean for doing this to my opponent, but I really wanna see this. So just press your po just just press the A button, let Rotom come in, and that's game. This was a long battle, long thought out battle. Please, please, please. So, um, let's plan some things for New Year's. So I got something really exciting with Ryan that coming up. Um, I'm not gonna make any spoilers, but I'm gonna be uploading a little bit more consistently um, for the month of January at least, because I have a lot of videos that I have and I just wanna show them to you guys. So it's gonna be a really good year for us. I defeated Matt. That is the battle. And it's 4 to 0. We could have 6 0 him, but I, I wasn't about to. But that's going to be it for this Wi Fi battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this Wi Fi battle. Taking this lead card because that was a good battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like. Comment down below on your vote for the most valuable Pokemon. Most valuable Pokemon using hashtag MVP. Leave your thoughts. Um, just comment anything you want, really. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy, Daddy Max, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.